may have noticed, that is not my bicycle. That's Tony's. And I'm borrowing it for a bit, and it doesn't have regulation wheels on, so shh. Nobody tell parkour. Really nice of Tony to lend me this bike, but the brakes don't work. Maybe that's why it's so quick. Fifty Vs aren't happening. <sighs> Damn it! I thought I was gonna be able to squeeze in these six fifty Vs with forty five mil tires, and actually, you can on that cross bike. The clearance in between the chain stays and the tire is not worth risking, especially considering it's Tony's bike, and I may have already destroyed a frame doing that. So let's just ride Tony's wheels. Dolph, please don't fire me. I made a real effort here. Everybody, you should buy some parkour wheels. They're really good and they'll fit in most bikes, unless you have a stupid cross bike like Tony. That was a bit unfair. This is a great bike, and handy to have it from Tony uh, until my new off-road bike gets built up. 8.9 kilos with the big fat tires. Have you made Jasper a really heavy bike? Yeah, it's going down. Is it on purpose? It, 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 no, I'll be fast on these tires. But I don't make it heavy. It's not the bike, it's the rider. I had to weigh him down just to kind of make the bunny hops not too extreme. <laughs> I was quite impressed last time. It wasn't really a jump. And I don't want to do too crazy, you know. This was supposed to be an easy endurance ride. It is. It is. For me. What is it for me then? Playtime. Playtime. Because it goes uphill, it's easier. When you practice wheelies, you do it uphill because it gets easier to do the wheelie. Because you have something to push against, you know? Finally rolling with Jasper. Nick was gonna join us for this first bit, but now he's not. It is 4 p.m. and we're gonna do a little loop just to get uh, the volume up because Jasper if you don't know who he is, flies planes, also trains a lot on his bike, does races, and has a YouTube channel, which I'll link down below. He uh, wanted to get a bit more volume in than just doing a chippy ride, which is what's going on later. So we're doing a loop before meeting back at the shop in about an hour and a half time, and then doing a second ride with all of those guys. So how's life been for you? It's busy, man. Last time I saw you was, uh, in the, in the pennies. In the pennies. We rode the pennies. I almost got ridden off the road by an old lady in the car. That's true. Hello. After that, I rode this bike up this hill, pouring rain with Nick from the bike shop. And now it's like half a year later, finally get to see you again. It's been too long. It, I, you it need is. to sort out KLM. They should be sending you more flights to come over to Newcastle. I need to sort out my schedule. Well, I have been here, but you were in London. I'm sorry. At this rate, we're gonna be knackered by the time we turn up for the second ride. Is the second ride like a like a group ride, group ride, or like a training? No, like a group ride, group ride to go and eat chips. So that's why I wanted to get some training in before, because I don't have all day to do junk miles and then go home, do nothing. Well, you need to sort out your priorities. Junk miles is where, that's the best bit of cycling. <laughs> Hey Jasper, yeah. you know, when we left the bike shop, Nick said, don't be too long because we'll go without you. I think we've gone too long. I have no idea where we are for, to start with. That's the problem, Jasper. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> you live here. It all looks the same. You live here. Google Maps. It's One a, down. Yeah, it's an hour and a half to warm go. up. We're ready, We're, let's go. We're warm. <laughs> We're warm. Bro, it's cold. How far have you gone? I don't know. We've got lost. How far? We've got lost. Had to go back the same way because he doesn't know. Still, he doesn't know where to go. We got stuck behind the horses. I felt like we got lost. He didn't feel in safe hands. If you guys got lost in that route, you've got no hope tonight. I we hope you passed. We did a loop. Ride number two, chippy ride, which involves riding to a chippy. We're gonna ride there, eat chips, ride back. See if we can get Jasper to eat chips. I think he's too pro for chips. Chips is like 
potato chips, like patat in Dutch. Patat. Patat. I feel like it's basically night time now and you are wearing sunglasses still. I wear sunglasses at night so uh, I can... So I can... Because he's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'm cool. Yeah. Newcastle, today I... What is this? It's just... Just batter. That's it's just, just batter. <laughs> What's this? Human pie. The rest of this video What's is going to be... Dark. I had fish and chips without fish. I'm eating pizza on a group ride. Now, unfortunately, I'm gonna end today's video with some frustrating and angering news. A lot of you guys will recognize Charlotte from my videos, from Hot Chili. She helps organize all the Hot Chili events and she's been friends with me for years. She is currently undergoing cancer treatment and she went in for an emergency brain scan to Guy's Hospital in London and she locked her bike up inside the hospital bike parking and it's been stolen. Now, here is a photo of the bike. I'm gonna post more information down below about the incident and when it happened and some more details with the bike as well because it's a fairly specific build. Uh, in short, it's a specialized diverge with like that tiger print sort of paint job. There isn't that many of these around and maybe if somebody sees this video and has in mind to be looking out for the bike, uh, potentially we can get it back. So who steals a bike from a cancer treatment place? It's just absolutely ridiculous. If anyone sees anything, I know a lot of my viewers are from London and maybe this little bit at the end of this video will um, help retrieve the bike. So yeah, lots of love to Charlotte. Um, hope you get your bike back. Uh, details down below, click that link guys and share it far and wide uh, if you can. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon for some more bike rides in the next few days.